Well, good day, everyone. Um, I'd like to just remind everybody this time of year that uh, there's an orphanage in Kenya that um, I've shown on my YouTube channel a few times. And uh, you all, the subscribers, have been very generous um, with your prayers and your donations over the years to help help these children out. Um, it's an orphanage in Kenya that's run, that's called Hope for the Orphans Center. And it's run by um, a mother, uh, Rose, and she has a few of her children. One of her, one of her sons, uh, Joshua, is who, is who uh, is one of the guys that runs it along with her. And this is a picture they sent a while back when, um, when you all supplied some money for some Bibles. So it's a Christian-based uh, orphanage. And so, like in this room here, this light here, one of the donations that was you all uh, put together was to pay for the electricity to be installed in their facility. And I want to look at show you just some of the other things that you guys have you guys have um, donated for. Uh, these are some of the buildings in the background. Um, there was a kitchen that was built. Um, the The original kitchen was one of the first things that we all helped to put together. This was this was their kitchen, how they cooked. Uh, a few years back and their cook would come and if it was raining that the cook just didn't want to come so the kids wouldn't eat um, so there's been a nice kitchen that was built here's the progress showing all from your donations um, and then we built a nice set of bathrooms for, I don't have the pictures of the bathrooms from them and we installed electricity in two buildings um, we were able to get them a posho mill so they could take um, grain and they could um, they could work the grain and produce flour. I forget what the mill cost, $1,200. So over the years, there's been lots of little things. Well, well right now, there is a, a need that they have. Um, let me if I, if I can find it here. It's for a passenger van. Now, I've, I've done this video before. Um, they're looking to step up to get a little bit more uh, ability to, to help take people to the hospital in their town. As they say what happens if somebody gets really sick, they have no way to get that person to a hospital and they end, they end up having to walk down the road and it, it can be just very difficult and it causes people to not um, go to the hospital. Um, so Joshua here sent me a little letter. You guys can download this. I'll, I'll provide a link um, for this passenger van and this link also has the ways that you can that you can donate money to them but the real reason for this uh, this video is um, I asked Joshua to send me um, a listing of all the children and this is a list of all the children they have 27 children and I'll leave a link to this Google Drive and you can go in and you can read the bio for each of the children um, you can see that some of them have had a tough life here let me read one here for you. Uh, this is um, this is a little girl. Her name is Bethan Tom. Bethan was born with HIV. Her mother passed away when she was four years old. Uh, one of the children offices contacted Hope for the Orphans, person, and she, uh, Bethan's, she's HIV positive. Uh, she's a jolly girl, always smiling and willing to learn. She's interested to become a teacher. She wants to go back to school to achieve her dream and goals. Her dreams are to see other children live a happy life and acquire education. So, so guys, what I would do, um, just select one of these children. I'm going to put a, a, a comment on here. I'm going to select Zephaniah. I like that name, Zephaniah, as, as my, as my uh, I guess, sponsor. And I'm going to, I'm going to help Zephaniah out directly. But I'd like to have you all select, there's 27 of them here. I'm sure um, there's more than uh, 27 views of this. If you could put... Put the person you select, the child you select, on your prayer list, and then maybe send Joshua a small donation, a Christmas gift, if you don't mind, um, uh, for this time of year. And if you would prayerfully consider uh, helping them out with the van, so you, I'll have a link to this um, to this directory on my Google Drive, and you guys can download this document. You can read it, and you can see about how uh, Joshua can accept. Um, donations. Now there's been a lot of talk about um, people in Africa um, doing some type of things that are, you know, that, where they ask for money and they just go and spend their money on themselves and they don't give the money to the kids. I, I am certain I've seen the progress that's been made over the years with the, the, the donations that have been given to these guys. So these guys are legitimate, um, legitimate orphanage that's, that's run by um, some faithful, some faithful Christians. 
So guys, I would prayerfully ask you to consider this. And um, if you can't give anything, that's fine. But then please put, just sponsor a child on your prayer list. And um, I'll leave links to all this. And with that, guys, have a great day and God bless you.